So a question I get asked all the time is, how do you check the quality of an aged or expired domain name? Now, you can use aged or expired domain names for a number of different reasons, but you have to have some form of quality control to check whether these domain names are actually fit for purpose. And I'm going to show you in this video exactly how to check that quality of an aged or expired domain name. Hi guys, so I'm always asked um, when I'm looking for expired domain names and whatnot, how I go about it, what do I look for, what quality checks am I looking for, and I'm going to talk you through just that. Now, many of you will know I work very closely with ODYS, who do a lot of this donkey work for you, which is why they've got a marketplace with domain names on here. So if you don't want to do all of this kind of work, check out odys.cc and you can get a £100 sign up bonus and you can go in and see what domains they've got available. However, most of you want to see what expired domain names are out there or how you get domains at auction and how you would analyse these to get the best performance out of those aged or expired domain names. Now, personally speaking, I would rather use an aged domain name than an expired. However, that is not always an option. So, first things first, spamzilla.io is a tool that I would use to kind of find out what's expiring or what is on auction on any given day or in the near future. Um, so, obviously you get Spamzilla, I think it costs something like 40 bucks a month and you can select a whole bunch of different filters on here, whether you're filtering by DA, PA, same rush rank, DR, UR, the amount of backlinks and a whole bunch of other stuff. You can filter these domain names down to suit yourself or you can simply go in and put in something like SEO and see what the hell is available in the world of SEO when it comes to these domain names. So, today, if I do this search, and I'm going to filter this, I'm going to click on the Ahrefs DR, because most people use DR, um, and we can see what kind of SEO related domain names are going to be available based on the DR that's out there. Now, there is a DR51 up here, SEO direct links. Now, let's just scroll further along. It's 600 bucks. Not the cheapest domain name in the world, but there's obviously one down here for 12 bucks. But you need to establish whether this is worth 600 bucks. Is this going to save you 600 bucks worth of time? Does it have a lot of backlinks? What is going on with the website? And that's where you would flip over to something like Ahrefs, SEMrush, or whatever tool you want, and see what's available. Now, <coughs> the first quality check I want to see on here is anyone can manipulate UR and DR. Anyone. I want to see if this website has ever had traffic. And the reality is it has ranked for little to nothing over that period, you know, any period of time. So that that's one filter I'm looking at. That's worrying for me. That's something I'm going, hmm, why is it a DR45 then when it's ranked for little to nothing? So we then look at the referring domain names or the backlinks and see what is going on. Now, again, we can filter these by DR and we can see they've used the old Google trick to manipulate DR. Now, having a link from Google's own properties is a way to boost the DR. An old trick still works very well and someone has manipulated the DR to the point where that looks like a great uh, domain name in an auction for 600 bucks. Now, already I wouldn't touch this domain name based on, I can see the DR's manipulated. It has no previous backlink history or traffic it's just got a whole bunch of garbage Google primarily Google related um, backlinks 
alongside some other stuff like lead forensics and a whole bunch of other garbage that any Tom, Dick or Harry can get. Now when I'm looking for an aged or an expired domain name, the backlinks is one of the things that I want. I'm buying the history of a domain name. I'm buying the backlinks from Forbes, the New York Times, whatever. That's what's going to drive the price of a domain name up because then I don't have to then go out and acquire those links. And that has given me a head start. <coughs> now, that is what you're looking for, but also the history. If a website's never had any rankings, it's never ranked for a keyword, then that's a worrying sign. Was the content garbage? What was on there? And you can go to websites like the Wayback Machine, and we can see what junk was actually on this particular website that's for sale for six hundred dollars and let's see what junk was on here if anything now i think round about here in fact we'll go back to 2012 and we'll see what was on this website um so it was a links directory back in the day not exactly a quality website. Um, so again, there's not a whole bunch of history on the Wayback Machine, not a whole bunch of content that you can utilize for your own advantage. And I'm just going to come closer to a few years ago and see if there's anything else on there. Again, still that same crappy directory. So there's not a huge amount of content that we can rip from this website. So again, what is the £600 for? Are we able to get a couple of grand's worth of content? Are we able to get, you know, a couple of grand's worth of backlinks? Are we able to utilise that power in history to benefit our own websites? In this instance, absolutely not. So you need to have some quality filters there to tell you whether this is good or bad. Now, it doesn't look as if it's been spammed to death on Spamzilla they do tell you the kind of spam or the SZ score. So it's fairly clean, but it's been manipulated. Is that worth £600? Absolutely not. Now, if we go further down, and we'll check something else out, um, that's maybe got less power, and I'll just check the prices, or whether something's available. So the second one down is actually available. So DR49, Fahad SEO. Let's have a look at Fahad SEO and see what is on there. So not a huge amount of backlinks. Not any kind of great quality. It's a DR 0 0.1. Again, has had no traffic, no history. The referring domain names, there's no Forbes, there's no New York Times or anything of note there. Now, this is a key point I want to make. This somehow is saying DR49, but the reality is it's a DR0.1. So this particular website is available. No one else wanted it. And it's freely available for anyone to get, mainly because it has no history and no quality. Now that then brings me to, is there any quality in expired domain names? There's obviously the old gem that comes into play, but more often than not, I probably want to jump over to GoDaddy Auctions or similar websites and see what is available. And we can have a look and see what SEO domains are available in the GoDaddy auction. Do, do, do. What is going on? Add new, SEO, save search, SEO. Okay. And GoDaddy is erroring out, but you get the picture. We can go to the GoDaddy auction and we can look and see what's available. Now there's something here and I'm not going to go for that vaccine planner. We'll go for something else. That's medicmotorwork.com. 
someone is wanting £10,000 in the UK or $14,000. So let's have a look and see. Again, using a similar standard of metric to see whether that's worth that money. Is that a brandable domain name? Not to me, it's not. Does it have any history? No. Does it have any backlinks? No. Is that worth it anywhere close to that price? Absolutely not. Again, an apology for the sneeze, um, still recovering from COVID. It is just not good value for money. Now, when you go through the GoDaddy auction, you've got bids, which would suggest that a lot of people are bidding on a domain name. It's got traffic, which I think is quite important. So guess the logo.com we can see has traffic. It's sitting at £2,300 and probably off the top of my head, something you're going to want to consider based on the fact that it's got traffic. Um, so organic search, we can see that this domain name had a lot of traffic back in 2016, 2017. It kind of has slumped off over recent years, but it has got history. It will have way back data, which I'll check in a moment. And it will have referring domain names. And I'm not suggesting that these are amazing. Um, but you've got wired.com, there will be a money saving expert, WebWiki. There's none of those big, amazing ones that I can see right at the start here. But this website has got history, it's got traffic. It's probably got stuff in the Wayback Machine. And these are some of the quality things that I want to be looking for um, when I'm looking to pay money for a domain name. So is there something? So we go back to 2016 when the website had a lot of traffic. I want to see what was on this website and if it was going to be of value to me. Now, it's got guest logo and it's got loads of quiz games and all that kind of stuff. Now we can f go through it, and there might not be a whole bunch of content on here. Um, I'm actually going to change it about a bit, and go back to here, see if the website was any different. If this was always just a kind of games website and there's not a lot of content on there, there's not a huge amount of backlinks, then it's probably something I would give a body swerve to. However, this uh, so it was a games website, um, is that worth the price that's on there to me in terms of backlinks content and giving me a head start? Probably not, probably not at all. Um, but you can see that the website did have traffic, so it's a lot better than some of the other things that we've looked at. And again, we can continue to scroll, navigate our way through and find something that is more value for money. And I'm going to have a look at Yuck on Eagle here it's only, f well, $560, it ends in eight hours. It could go for a little bit more, but let's see what's going on with that, because this is another website that gets traffic. It's It's got some backlinks. Um, it's only a DR7. This website has had traffic, it slipped, then came back up, then it slipped again. Now that could just be down to bad SEO, poor management, lack of resources, lack of time applied to the website, but this website can clearly get traffic and movement. Is that worth 400 bucks? It depends on the Wayback Machine um, and, and what level of content would be on this particular website. So we get, again, go back, See what the hell's on here. Now, the, it's an age domain name. It's years and years old. Um, which carries some weight in itself. And uh, it was a wood furnace company. And there probably is a lot of URLs, a lot of history, and a lot of stuff on there that we could take if we were wanting to go into that particular niche. But it's a very niche thing. So... Again, it's going to be very hard if you're going to use that and maybe not do this niche. But again, you can understand that there's certain quality things and it's not that easy 
to just go and grab a domain name. There's always a reason not to buy a domain name. And you have to have those quality checks in place. And as I say, it goes back to the basics. Did the website have traffic and rankings? Is there content for me to use that was previously on the website that you can use to leverage more keywords, more traffic, and build upon that? And is that backlink profile substantial enough to help you move on to the next level? And that is how some of the basic things that I look for when I'm hunting for aged domains, expired domain names, and everything else. So hopefully that gives you an idea into some of the things that I personally look at when looking at domain names. There are a few other bits and bobs, but that all comes down to personal preference and everything else. I also don't like hyphens in domains and a whole bunch of other stuff, but we're not going to that just now. Just want to give you a little feel for how you can analyze whether a domain name is worth X amount of money.